WFAN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. We got markets slightly in the red right now, but off of the highs that we had this morning. S&P futures negative by two points, trading at 32.41. Dow futures negative by 22 points, trading 28,620. Got NASDAQ 100 futures positive by 14, trading at 88.61. Oil in the negative yet again, down about 50 cents at 62.80. Gold trading a little bit lower as well. We'll start things off. We'll start it off with the VIX this morning. Quite a rebound yesterday as markets clawed back all the losses to finish in the positive. We had the VIX early yesterday morning at 16.39, finished the day with a 13 handle. This morning, you have markets a little bit in the red, the VIX a little elevated, 14.04 in the volatility index. We'll jump over the indices. We'll start things off with the Dow. As you can see, the Dow down about 22 points, but we're more than 100 points off of the highs we have this morning. Early, about 4 a.m., we're up there at 28,733. That's the same price point that we were basically at at almost midnight last night. You can see a little bit of a sell-off starting at about 8 a.m., 28,605 right now in the Dow futures. S&P, 3239. We had made it as high as 3254. So you're talking about 15 S&P points off the high. NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ 100, the only index in the green right now. Not quite the sell-off as the other indices. Currently trading 88.60. We're up as high as about 88.90. There's your gold contract, 1569. You back things up to early yesterday, quite a spike high. We got up to about 1590 in gold. The overnight low at about 9 p.m. last night, 1557. Crude oil, $62.77. Last night we were down there at about 62.39. And the euro US dollar, a little bit of weakness. The euro trading 111.55. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, fundamentally, some news with the U.S. trade deficit falling more than expected to the lowest level in three years. That number coming in at 43.09 billion, excuse me, 43.09 billion for the month below the 43.6 estimate that the market was looking for. And the last thing, Boeing reaching a settlement with several airlines regarding the 737 MAX, including American Airlines, checking out Boeing. This morning, pretty muted response on that news, opening at about 3.33.40. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.